Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode we will be talking about a study based on how brain of humans goes through significant change after death. In a new study, it has been found how inconvenient is death as an event for a living brain. A cascade of effects has been observed as oxygen starts depleting and translating the DNA in its last efforts to save the life. The scientists compared the postmortem brain tissue and samples collected from living patients, and significant differences were revealed for the first time in the way the RNA strands were modified. The researchers from the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York emphasized the way specific base codes of adenosine, A, are swapped with very different bases, which is inosine, I, in messenger RNA. Until now, the investigation of A2I editing and its biological significance in the mammalian brain has been restricted to the analysis of postmortem tissues, genomicist Michael Breen said while speaking to Science Alert. By using fresh samples from living individuals, we were able to uncover significant differences in RNA editing activity that previous studies, relying only on postmortem samples, may have overlooked, he added. For changing the genes, which were encoded by double-stranded helixes of DNA, to functional proteins, their sequences need to be copied into different formats based instead on RNA. Other RNA structures, which have amino acid building blocks, can translate these messengers into proteins. This intermediary transcription and translation service has been part of billions of years of evolution and has added a whole new library of proteins. Some species rewriting own genetic instructions of their brains. Some species, like the types of cephalopod, have taken RNA editing to a different level by rewriting their own genetic instructions of their brain. However, the samples collected and analyzed suffer a major drawback. We hypothesis that molecular responses to postmortem-induced hypoxic and immune responses can significantly alter the landscape of A2I editing, said the lead author of the study Miguel Rodriguez de Los Santos, who is a molecular biologist at Mount Sinai. This can lead to misunderstandings about RNA editing in the brain if we only study postmortem tissues, he said while speaking about the drawbacks. It is critical to note that our findings do not negate but instead provide missing context for using postmortem brain tissues in researching A2I regulation, said co senior author Alexander Charney, who is a physician scientist at Mount Sinai. Understanding these differences helps improve our knowledge of brain function and disease through the lens of RNA editing modifications, which can potentially lead to better diagnostic and therapeutic approaches, he added. That's all for this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you, enjoy them and subscribe us for more.